So unfortunately, Rocky succumbed from Xavier sniveling, and we felt like the tension between the two was really growing, and we did the only sensible thing and kicked Rocky off the podcast for letting Xavier chew on him. What? <sighs> Anyways, I was doing um, the DMV uh, driver's ed today, and I saw that, so in order to get your license suspended, you need 12 points, mm -hmm. and a homicide only gives you six. So, okay, so one homicide, you're chilling. You don't get any percussions except for a $40 fine. Uh -huh. And then two homicides, you get it suspended for, tw for t six months, half a year, because that's 12 points. And then only when you get three homicides, then they suspend it for two years. Well, you'd I mean, be I, in jail. Yeah, you'd be in jail. So <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't have time to kill yeah. another person. You also get, like, reckless driving charges, right? I love how, like, the first one, they're like, alright, that's fine. He's just, like, trying it out. He's being a little crazy. And then the second one... <laughs> Wait, the right. side or just, like, hitting someone while driving? The person... It's it said, a vehicular homicide. It said homis homicide with their car is six points. Um, a vehicular so. homicide? I mean, but like I assume, like he said, you go to jail. So. Yeah, you go to jail, so like your points would go off anyway. Yeah, like is it, yeah, is it? Yeah, when you get out, you'd, you'd be. Well, is I mean, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah. it like, like what kind of homicide? It didn't specify. I'm assuming it means like unintentional homicide, because if it was intentional, then you would be in prison. You wouldn't be able to keep driving. Well, I think you're in prison if it wasn't. Um, yeah, even if it wasn't. Yeah, if you just home. kill someone. Uh, yeah, well, if but if it's like accidental, they're like jaywalking and you just run them over. No, no, you still go to jail. Yeah, okay. so. no, yeah. no, bro, if they're jaywalking, I mean, people still have the right of way. No, they don't. No, no, they're not in the middle of the road. Yeah, no, they, they do. Technically, well, if you hit them the while they're jaywalking, you still, I'm pretty sure you still go to jail for it. No, you don't. No. It, it, it depends on circumstances. If you had enough time to stop, you go to jail. But if you like, didn't, like. But if it's like an A train type situation where she's, like, you know. On the side of the no, road. I, if you just hit someone in general, you go to jail. Like if a that's suicidal guy, no, that's not cat if cat. a suicidal guy jumps in front of your car and you kill him. Well, it's very rare, but basically, if you kill someone, I don't, I don't while really driving, I don't really think that's. True. I don't think that's true. I think that's like, like if you, you get, get an accident, right? If yeah, you, yeah, 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 fact check. If you get in an accident with someone and you don't die, but they do, I don't, I don't think you go to jail for that. If they. Yeah. You don't know. If you were drunk, then you definitely would. Yeah. yeah. But like, if you're sober and you just like kill someone... Who I mean, would... if it was your fault, you might though. But like, if you're yeah. sober, if, you if the cameras... You might if it was your I mean, fault. If, if the cameras... Yeah. No, you just go to jail. jail. If you no, kill don't. Someone. If the cameras show that like you like tried to break and like it was accidental, then you probably won't. But if you like speed up and like aim at them... Yeah, it really, it really depends on your lawyer. I mean, 90 days in jail. 90 days? Yeah, if you get wired, you're screwed up. Is that for jaywalking? I, it doesn't... Specific. That's yeah, but no, because there was a guy who went to our car class or uh, yeah. DM, whatever you want to call it, and he killed someone on the highway. Wait. Oh, what? Like, like if you're on the highway, if you're in the middle of the highway, okay. How well, oh, 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 well, I mean, yeah, it depends if they're in the car, but people always have the right of way. No Not in the middle of the no. highway. Oh, well, yeah, the no. guy he killed was in a car. That's the difference. Like, he uh, crashed into him. But, like, bro, if you get there hard jaywalking, you still have to stop, obviously. No, but like you, you, you have to stop. But if you accidentally hit them, it's not your fault. It's their fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah but hitting and killing is different. No, because it's like technically it's manslaughter instead of homicide. Yeah, it's not, it's if it's um, if you just like run over them, <laughs> I choked on soda and now I'm crying. <laughs> but um, if if I think it's if it's like intentional, then it becomes homicide. Yeah, which homicide makes me wonder like good. why did the DMV specify that homicide is like what you can get away with three times. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just got my I mean, you can, you can get away with homicide. It just depends on your lawyer. I mean, I'm already at one, so I really can't do it. Depends on the jury. Like, if you are convicted of involuntary manslaughter in Ohio, but you do face possible prison time, depending on the level of charges brought against you, you could be sentenced up to nine months and ten years. Between nine months and ten years, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. I just looked up and I said it's manslaughter. Even if you kill someone while they're jaywalking, the driver still can face criminal charges. Wait, can uh, can face? Yeah, it depends on your lawyer. Uh, also, okay. it's 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 yeah. I seen that that reel of the guy's lawyer. He's like, he was sh that's straight capping. He did not say that. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, maybe you, 
maybe you won't. It just yeah, it just depends on circumstance. Yeah, like if you could have clearly stopped, you still hit him. Yeah, you'll get yeah. To jail. If you speed up, if, they, if you if see they, him in the middle of the road and you speed up, obviously you're going to jail. Well, you could just say like you could yeah, be like, but saying that you're not going to go to jail no matter what. Is yeah, not right. Well, you so could be yeah, like that right. cop who by accident shot the gun four times instead of his taser <laughs> and say you you meant to <laughs> smash the brakes, so yeah, I actually smashed the gas. Okay, so it goes. It goes both ways. We gotta be in the middle, basically. Right. I think it depends. Like it's a case by case basis. Yeah. Depends on the lawyer. If you saw the judge, depends on the jury. If you saw Goodman, you chill. If you drift into them and it, you're clean with it, do you like still get arrested? <laughs> <laughs> what if you drift but you're like an inch away from hitting him? Then you don't go. To drift. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, and then they hey, say, what kind of question was that? Man? What if they say, um, what if see, they... we're um, we're both right. It yeah. just depends on the circumstances. Yeah. I saw one where it's like, well, it depends on this case, but some might have to. Push. I mean, it also depends on the state, like California. Yeah, yeah. I'm more strict about that. But like in 15 states, so we're not wrong. In 15 states, you right. can. I'm like a little bit more right. I'm not gonna oh, okay. The American but justice system is very confusing. Like confusing. a little bit like that. Yeah, like, like it's, like it's a it's a middle. it's a spectrum, and it's a little yeah. bit more towards this side of the room, but um. <laughs> Uh, if if you're in like one of the 15 states, you can like purposely drive through protesters who are in the road yeah. and just kill them. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, I, saw yeah, I saw a video of that where it was like like a, a BLM protest and it was just like this Lambo just yeah. drives straight into the crowd and like people start smashing the windows. Well, because he pulls out and hits people on the way back. Because there's all these videos of like the protesters going up to a car that's just like trying to get through to go to their job and then they like break the windows, yeah. pull them out, and kill them. And so now, yeah, I've seen that too. and so then, oh, and so then, all the laws are passed where you can just drive through protesters now who are in the road. I've it's never, like, never seen that video, bro. bro. You know what the most pointless uh, like protests are when like when they go up to like the Mona Lisa and throw soup at it. It's just like it's just protected. Yeah, yeah, it's already well. If you're talking so about it, they're getting their point across because all they want is attention. No, but I'm not talking about what they. Well, yeah, but if you're just, if you're still talking about it, you're still getting their point across because no, but like just talking about it, it's just annoying. stupid. It was yeah. yeah no, but, I don't know what they were protesting. I just know that they yeah, were at the they were yeah. Just like, like, talking about, about it, them. it's yeah. attention. You're still giving them attention, and that's all. Well, they want. but I feel like it makes us hate the movement. Yeah, it yeah, makes you yeah. hate the movement than like it. If they're like protesting, like bro, like protest like on the sidewalk. Yeah, like signs, not in the middle of the road. And like throwing shit at like a painting, like what is that? Gonna yeah, exactly. Like? They came up there and they threw it, and then they like got down on their knees and were like, so and so 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 the Mona Lisa ever done? Nothing. Like, no, the thing is, it's protected. Anyways, all I do is clean it off. Yeah. Yeah, it's pointless. Yeah, yeah it's pointless. Didn't they go to jail too? Yeah. 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 When the those environmentalists like went onto an F one track and like sat across, it, I was just wishing the cars wouldn't pull over. It's like, please just keep going. Like, you don't even yeah. have to stop, bro. <laughs> Like at that point, like they're asking for it. If you like sit in front of a race car, like, and bro, race mean, cars aren't I mean, race cars are not the main problem on the environment. Like literally, not. Yeah. airplanes, um, private jets, private jet, they airplanes. They're complaining about um, cows, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's China. That's what it is. Yeah, no, yeah. China and America. China, yeah. China and America. Have no, bro, no, no, it's not even America. It's China. No. Yeah, that's China. No, they uh, should basically. No, uh, yeah. China's like um fifty percent, and America's thirty percent. Last year. That was okay. like 80% around the, the world. Okay. They so. should work on water cars because there's that scientist who made a car that can run off of water by getting the hydrogen out of it. And then um, and then two days later, he was found in his hotel room with two bullets in the brain by suicide. Oh. So, I yeah, I know. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that like Boeing whistleblower who like yeah. oh, killed himself but like days earlier? He was on a call recorded of him saying if I committed suicide, it wasn't a suicide. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. But I've um, seen that one. Well, uh, Toyota, I just, I watched, uh, I saw something where Toyota is, um, like, made a breakthrough with hydrogen powered engines, so. Yeah, it's gonna be a while until it's actually a fixer. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Guys, it's just this video of this Toyota's artist. crazy, bro. He's, yeah. he's, like, pouring water, water into the gas tank and then, like, drinks some of it and then pours more in, and then two days later, he's dead by suicide with two bullets to the brain. It's like, okay. Do why do the two? second one? Like, no, how do you have two? Don't you die from the first? Yeah, well, so I, that's why people like make fun of it. It's depends like, on where you shot yourself in the first one. No, it's if you yeah. shot yourself in the head once. If you yeah. shoot yourself in the head, isn't it instant? So you want yeah, to die in the second one? Well, no, there's people I who mean, survive. Isn't it shot? Is it like um, right here instant? Like, but like, I'll say like, if you shot yourself in the stomach first, yeah, you can get another shot. If you shoot yourself like this, 
It can you say you got shot in the head twice. Even not kill you. Wait, or no, brain. Like, that's twice. Uh, well, uh, like you can um if you hit it in the like right exact spot, like right here is. You instant. can still live. Yeah. No, people. no. Right oh. here is instant death. But yeah. like, if you shoot yourself like in the head, so it can like go through the right path, and you might have like you won't. Like, yeah, there's people. There's function there's anymore. stuff who uh um, yeah. like. Your brain might be messed up, like you might forget like a part of yourself. Like, so you act, not act the same, but yeah, there's people who survive being shot in the head. So yeah. cock lofty is you should try it out at home. No, <laughs> okay, you cannot <laughs> say that. But you're actually gonna get yeah. shot for saying that. Yeah. This, none of this is useful. <laughs> okay. You just bring the whole conversation. I'm pretty sure saying the word suicide is. Yeah, it's probably. Shot. This is probably going to We have to go self. No, self no. jumping. Yeah, probably would. We have to say jumping off of a 24 block jump with no armor on. But I've seen the one where like this, uh, this Chinese. I, I forget where it was, but like. He was like. Climbs buildings a lot, and there's like this one challenge where you can win a lot of money for like parkour people. And like, he did he just fall off? Yeah, what? Like, it was like a really I don't know what country it was in. I think it was China, but like, yeah, he was just climbing, he just fell off. I think it's funny when they climb skyscrapers and wear helmets, like bike helmets, is that that's gonna like help them when they fall 25 floors? I think it's more like if things fall like above them. Oh, and then I saw another one, it was like this guy, it was like. Uh, skydiving and like he's a professional skydiver and one time he like he had camera equipment that was like the same weight as a skydiving oh. and he jumped with his uh, camera equipment thinking it was a skydiving and he realized like 15 seconds in so like oh. a whole minute and a half he was falling yeah. and he knew like he was well if you saw the video he ha he had to survive no no he died his he died cameras can like be recovered like yeah, that. yeah. So, this camera so, video was recovered because it was going on while he was falling, and you, yeah. they recovered and like you could hear him screaming him before he hit the ground. Did no one else like jump with him? Or was it no, just no, no. Other people jumped with him, but they couldn't like help him. Ah, that's true. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I saw so, so, only other person who was jumping with him jumped first, and he jumped second, and he was just like. Uh, yeah. was, he's kind I saw of a video where like four of them and went. Was, and the push 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 the three like went down and grabbed him and like held him. Wow. They, no, had, they like, could. They had like helmets on it. How does that work though? Like, you bro, you could. Like, they all you could. You could. You could yeah. You could, he could have like. Split but the it. thing is, yeah, he could. They didn't hear him. him. They didn't hear him. Yeah, because if they heard he them, they, they could have slowed down and like met up with him and like held on to him. But since they, he was above them, you can't really like hear his screams from above. Yeah. So I mean. So sad. I think it happened like 1990 or something. Ah, because it's But wouldn't you jump with your camera equipment and the parachute? Bro, yes, but he thought he had the parachute on. No, but wouldn't it be double the weight? It was like around the same weight, or like one point five. So. Yes, but if you were jumping with both, it would you would need double the weight. For you have yeah, he just wasn't. Hey, he, he just not, wasn't thinking. Like not that. checking is crazy. Like, like, hey, okay, yeah, that's actually crazy. Like yeah. I double check, like if my phone is charged. Like not checking if you have a parachute on is like rambunctious. I don't know. Rambunctious. Yeah, yeah rambunctious. Bro. Rambunctilious. That's what I used to say. Yeah. But, uh, and then the guy just fell off the skyscraper like that Chinese guy. And it's like, oh. what do you gain from like, not having like any type of like safety equipment? Yeah, you see me. You know, no, like, you, you know, like mountain climbers have like the they like set checkpoints where if the they fall, they'll like fall. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're not free climbers, which like go without a rope. It's yeah. two different yeah. things. Yeah. But um, if you're at the top floor of the skyscraper, like, what are you doing if you don't like see him and pour a little bit of water down the window? It's like <laughs> you gotta like add some <laughs> difficulty, or else it's just like no fun. Have you guys seen those like a. Uh, People who climb cliffs like above oceans, like they free climb. That looks super cool. Because if you fall, you just fall in the water and you're fine. Yeah, um, so I mean, if you fall, no. Well, no, it depends if you hit rocks. The surface tension, surface tension no. is crazy. Oh, um, yeah. no. Water doesn't compress, so if you yeah, fall on it from a certain height, it's, it's just, just like hitting concrete. concrete. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, yeah. 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 Well, like, or, or if you're like, where if you fall in the water, you're not at like too high where you'll still survive, but you might just hit a rock on the way down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I guess if you're on the coast, then. And then bracing it. be shallow. I mean, even if you're like 50 feet up, if you like land on your stomach and there's no one in the water already to get you, like you can just die. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's not like it's safe. Well, I've done a I mean, if the water is cold, you're you can like you can get like uh, shock and then your muscles like will not work. Yeah, and then you yeah. just like you'll just drown. That's why there's always like because then you guy. just can't move. So and you're just. Guess that a lot about death. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A lot about suicide. I don't know. We'll Instagram reels, like, kind like, of. That's why polar plunging is so dangerous, because you can, like, your muscles can, like, tense up, and then you just can't move. But did you see that one, uh, dude, I think it was, uh, in Japan, where this, like, guy was, like, 19, like, 60s or 50s or something like that, and this is where they had, like, this guy, like, went into this girl's septic tank <laughs> to see her taking a dookie, okay. she, she went on, like, a trip, so she wasn't <laughs> there all weekend, 
and he died in there. Like what? Like he froze to death because he couldn't get back out. <laughs> so can you imagine calling for help? Like, hey, so I somehow well, this was before they had phones. So like, I somehow I, I somehow slipped into this girl's septic tank twenty feet below the ground. So for one, he didn't even see her go to the bathroom, which was his goal, and died. That's tough, bro. Because when she came back, she saw his dead. She saw like a hand. It's just like that. It's just like the average she day in Japan. Like, yeah, so. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I least even know what I was talking about. Like, about to die. Yeah. It's like this is just like a normal day. Nineteen fifties Japan was. Nineteen fifties Japan was freaking out. Right? Nah. What I was trying to get. Nineteen fifties Japan was recovering from World War Two. Yeah. Uh, that's like our. That's like our average viewer. So um, we had. So this one video is at like eighteen hundred views. Oh my god! And we're so 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 happy about it. We're hyped about it. Like eight hundred of it is still good. Yeah, so like forty percent of it are like normal views, yeah. but then we see that that yeah. like eleven hundred of them are from a playlist. I'm like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. And so we click on the playlist, and it's boy shoe play, and it's seventy different um, podcasts of underage guys with their feet out. So and it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at the if you look at the time on the bottom of the scale, there's like a peak in retention, like where right like I. Right with Wyatt's feet. Yeah, Zane like po points the camera down to like show my feet, and there's just like a spike like <laughs> ten times higher. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so episode eight, it has like eight hundred real views, like normal YouTube views, but then there's like a thousand from a playlist of just like hundreds of videos of just uh, underage boys who have their feet out during a podcast. And this this morning, someone asked me on that video in the comments. What is why it's shoe size? Question mark. <laughs> no, that was a new video. Uh, I think I was on episode eleven. I don't think that well, had to do because we many... gained fifteen subscribers. From well, that. is that where the secret lover comment came from? No, that was my solo episode. Oh yeah, but maybe they saw that episode and then went to the solo episode. So. Yeah. But yeah, so a thousand of views. Dude, like thousands of different people watch this playlist and like go to like kids' feet. Bro. It's weird, bro. Yeah, because none of them are eighteen. Kind of Did like, all of them on the podcast though? Yeah. So it was, like, I'm pretty sure we reported. They're all like boys podcasts, and we're like on the order end. Yeah, how many boys a podcast though with their feet out? Oh, like a lot, but they. It's like I don't know how they find them. Yeah, like a thousand people watching the playlist. Dude, I'm go. Can you imagine? No, I clicked it. It was like one thousand fifty views just from that one playlist. So a thousand fifty different. And also, our video was like video like twenty five, so they had to already be going at it for like seven hours before they get to ours, and still we got like eleven hundred views. Oh, they were the playlist though. You did, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. no, but he has to I watch, to doesn't it. he have to like watch the whole video too? Like, yeah. well, at least half the video to yeah. see. Do they have like a, a like a notes app where they like noted like 2552 is where the feet come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, alright bro, if it was like adult podcasters, maybe, like, it, it's maybe a little weird. Like, it's a little weird, but like, dude, there was like kids that were like 14 on it. I was like, oh, okay, bro. Yeah, like, we were on the older end. Yeah, we were on the older end. We're 16, so like, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, it's like, dude, it was weird. It was like, rambling dilly. Like, like it was like, yeah, boy, like, shoe play, feet play. Oh, yeah. Like okay, then Xavier was like, all right, um, and then he clicked on the search terms to find our channel in general, and he saw that every single one was about feet. It was like, Shoe play, boy feet, boy shoe sock play, boy yeah, sock play. That, that was the only episode with that stuff. Like, all the other episodes are. Well, yeah, there's no other. Episodes. How do I find that? Uh, you'd have to go to the studio. You have to go in uh, studio. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Yeah, uh, after this, yeah. But every other video that has wide feet doesn't have this place. Like no other video yeah. came from this place. It was none just of that the one video. That none of the other ones were good enough to get in. So here's my thought, right? So the soul episode where I have my feet showing the whole time, that's no fun because you don't have the excitement and joy of looking for it. Yeah. Whereas like episode eight, like you have to like search for like an hour to find them and then when you do it's pure gold. So that's probably why that one specifically got it. Yeah, only me and Rocky and why I knew about it before this. <laughs> We were, we were raging, bro. It's so yeah, funny. Because I was actually. Like, I was at. Why I found it first. When? Like, why I found it This was like. Video. So, three weeks ago, I found it and I like, kept it as like a little nugget oh, yeah, of joy. Yeah. But then this week on like Monday or Tuesday, I think. He told me. I was like, alright, you guys are so happy about this video popping off. Like, I gotta tell them what's been going on. Yeah, if you get rid of the views from the playlist, it has like 800 views, which is still one of our most like viewed videos. And like, yeah. yeah. That's still pretty good, yeah. Yeah, 800 normal views is fine. But, but I mean, like. 
have the Zagandi people from the playlist, you know? Oh, oh, oh no, it tells you if they clicked it from the playlist. Oh, okay. But like, oh. couldn't they like come back after yeah. they clicked it from the playlist? Or they could like click on our our ch channel page because like YouTube won't like know if like they found us from the playlist and then watched the other videos. They only yeah. know like the yeah. direct one. Yeah. But none of our other videos really went up. They, they, they could have come back around. Actually, though. No, but all the other videos that we've uploaded haven't got up, like, a significant <laughs> well, amount. I mean, I think in general they have. Like, a little bit. I think this is being pushed more because there's more views. Yeah. yeah. Like, Honestly, Matt has a video on it. It was like, you have to upload, like, five videos. So then, because YouTube algorithm works as, like, the um, more videos we watch in a row, the more likely it'll show up on people's, like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, normally our videos are, like, a logger of them. Like, they go, like, high, and then they, like, level out, whereas the foot one on the playlist... It just keeps going on, like, on, on, on young boy shoe play <laughs> playlist just goes straight up, like, <laughs> yeah. can, yeah. consistent, like, just straight linear. I think it's at, like, 1.9k now. It was at, like, 1.1. absurd. Yeah, I mean, so we're gonna get monetized with this one. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get the play. Publicization. <laughs> yeah, like, let's just, play. Let's just yeah, all yeah, put our right. toes in front of the camera. I mean... Just make it closer. We only did for like stick, a second, so they like. Yeah, um, for the for the twelve subscribers we got from that, um, stick and stick around until the end, where the grippers will all be coming out, all five of us, and we're gonna get we're gonna get vegetables. But we're exposing them though. Like they're gonna be like yeah, like, they're, 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 they're sh out. shivering in their timbers. Right that is gonna be most replayed at the end. Bro, there's gonna be a guy watching it from the playlist. He's like, hey, you're talking about me. <laughs> because because one of those twelve subscribers that we got from that video is definitely watching this one too. And it's well, like, not all twelve right. came from the playlist, because that playlist didn't come on to like after a little bit. Of and bro, none of those, none of those people are going to be subscribing. They're going to yeah, be like getting their. Quick. No, that's how many like subscribers we got from it. For that, for yeah. that video, yeah. 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 Those uh, are just regular people. I don't think like uh, the 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 weird the weird the weird guys are subbing. Yeah, they're definitely not. But the thing is, because they're like bookmarking us. That playlist we got put in that playlist like a week after the video got uploaded. And we yeah, already and so gained it, a lot of subs. It was subs like off flat, that. flat line, and then it went. <laughs> but yeah, we already gained like the twelve subs before the playlist. Yeah. So I don't think really any really came from. The Stick around until the end. We'll get a tub of vegetable oil and all of our toes. We'll be running around in it. We're gonna let them free. Subscribe to our Patreon. We'll have more. <laughs> we'll have more content. Don't worry. <laughs> but what time are we at? I think we're like four minutes left. That's a for um, forbidden question, actually. Four minutes left. Okay. Subscribe to our OF, too. You know, it's coming out. Yeah. <sighs> About two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, we're actually selling, uh, selling flashlights that are, like, sculpted into the shape of our assholes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bro. Okay. We're, we're getting, so we're getting the bottom We're getting... <laughs> no, assholes is fine to say. We just can't mention vaccines at any point. So... <laughs> you just mentioned it. Well, you can't. Oh, you can't like that. say like what we were saying about them, like we did. Vaccines are. I love that. Hey, okay. For the record, they're incredible. And also, um, I saw in that policy training, I'm also supposed to say that chemical mm -hmm. abortions are awesome. So those are great too. YouTube, please don't take this down. The policy the thing is, we're joking about the vaccines too. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. So Alex doesn't know this, but um, uh, one episode, we we said our personal truths about vaccines and the video got um got striked and then I had to do a like 25 minute policy training with a quiz at the end. Wait, to, really? Yeah. Damn. And so now that I've done the policy training it'll be taken away in six months. But um six all, months? Yeah. All of the questions in the policy training were about vaccines. And then the last one was is it okay for you to say that chemical abortions are bad? And the the answer was no. <laughs> they aren't bad for the record. Yeah, we love them. We all love them, man. Yeah. Like, why is that to you as well? Yeah. yeah. I, um, actually, I, I actually prefer for C-section abortions. Well, because when we were making that's our... That doesn't exist. C-section abortions? Yeah. That's why would they do that? It's not a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was a joke, guys. Because the reason I had to get a couple abortions is because when we were making our, like, personal fleshlights that were sculpted like us, we had to, <laughs> we had to like, test out each other and like then the flashlight like, okay, can compare them. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and you so, can not put this in the video. That said that I got pregnant a couple times. <laughs> and we had to light. Anyway. Actually all of us are trans. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sweet. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like double trans. Like I He went transition. Yeah. He went to the other side yeah. and he came back again. Yeah, yeah exactly.
So two surgeries or not? Yeah, I feel like that's actually so funny when people go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because the normal surgery is it's where they like wasted hundreds, so basically thousands of dollars. The normal surgery is where they like get the penis and they like rip it open and like fold it. We like talk about this on this. On YouTube, I saw one time a video of them actually doing it, so I think oh, it's fine. Okay. And then I, and then I, <laughs> so I wonder if they like want to go back. How do they do that? They like put it back. Oh, they, they they glue it together, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, duct tape. Really duct tape. Bro. Can you imagine we get oh, we get sponsored by Elmer's glue now? That's incredible. <laughs> <incredible. laughs> yeah, just imagine. Yeah, can you imagine? Yes. Oh. I remember that one South Park episode where they were like um, transitioning. It's very. Tra they they did. They said transitioning is very natural, and then they showed a video of the guy seeing his penis like flipped inside out. Oh, okay. So uh, Xavier and Elliot are currently um, uh, cuddling in the back room. We <laughs> we killed them. They're, they're not really responding right now. I think I think I put too much fentanyl in the drink. Damn. Yeah, he went a little too crazy this time. <laughs> yeah, I mean honestly, like Big K, they're like sixteen cents a can of soda, but like sometimes you just get stuff in there. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, we, like, we have to find out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the grape ones probably have the most fentanyl in them, and the Coca-Cola ones probably have the least, so... Cream soda's like nice in the middle. Okay. Yeah, so now that uh, Xavier's gone, we can finally get Rocky back from his digestive system. Yeah, next episode he will make a return. Is LA coming back? Uh, uh we don't know. No. Okay. I think yeah. it's unsavable. Did you guys watch the solar eclipse? Um, I thought... I mean, kind of. I didn't have the glasses, so I couldn't look at it, but I saw that it went dark, yeah. and then it went light, so, you know. Yeah. Did you guys go out, or? I went outside, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, out of the state. Uh, not, not. Yeah, I went to uh, Indiana. You went to Indiana? Okay. I drove, like, half an hour to a place. That's nice. Yeah. I drove, like, 20 minutes. So, so I kind of built a set here, but I didn't realize that the chairs would kind of just cover it up. Yeah. Have, um, maybe put it like right up there, like right in front of the camera. It won't, it won't get in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Because we can't show our feet anymore with our fan base. Yeah. So yeah, we have to go off limits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no more feet for you guys. This is Mr. Duckafin, 17, and he has a corkscrew penis like most ducks do, and he knows how to control it. Um, this is a watering can. Oh. From Tell me about that. The farmhouse when I was little, and we would put gasoline in this, and then we would go to the local police stations, and we would pour the gasoline around the spaceship, okay. and then we would light it ablaze. I don't know if you can say that, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Casually committing arson. <laughs> well, I mean, is so arson is only three points on your driver's license, so you can get quite a few of them in. Corona? That's oh. the first beer I ever drank one week ago. Hey, oh? It wasn't oh, very good. Oh, know. wait, no. I know. I know. It was non alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, he actually didn't drink that usually. I actually have like a special contraption that has like a little, like, it's like a little gizmo bob and it like sucks all the alcohol out, so. I tasted it, but there's no alcohol in there. See, so like, it was, it was like an empty can. It's looking kind of. Ah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> but over here, why did you like try to catch it? If you didn't try, we would have had it. So, okay. So now we're just right. throwing in things. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Antique. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all this yeah. stuff is from like 1890 to 1940. <laughs> but that is not a baseball from 1890. So, to 1940. Here, <laughs> get it. <laughs> here we have, um, so you know in Michigan how there's like those little. Yeah, we all know what a Potosky stone is. Yeah, this is yeah. my little Potosky stone. stone. I, I don't know, can you explain it? So when you lick it, it gives you like magical powers. Please. Can I? Yeah, go for it. Are you actually supposed to lick it? No! no. 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 <laughs> it's pretty good. Cause like, you can still like taste like a little bit of like the flavor from like Michigan. Wait, what's up a constant? Wait, what is it called? Potosky stone? Yeah, so, what is it? the little like, the little fossils inside of it like hold in flavor for millions of years. <laughs> and then when you lick it, like some of it comes out. Yeah, you wanna look at it? Oh, no. I mean, why I looked it, so. Yeah. Kinda have to know. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. we're gonna have a, a set where we have, like, thousands of dollars of equipment. We're gonna get, like, a computer, and they're just gonna be, like, throwing it up and down. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have back here? What's this? Um, 
That is a sculpture that my grandpa made. Oh, wow. Let's bring that up here. Uh, what is that? Uh, Yo, was that made in 1950? Uh, no, this was made was probably in like 1955, so outside, outside of the time, time period. Okay. Greg Stegger, your mom's side. My mom's side, Grandpa Walter. What is it? Um, so it represents the duality of man okay, bro. between <laughs> okay. the dark side of nature and the light side of industry with both sides of it. There's no change in those sides. But it's made symmetrical to show the irony between that, like, that dissonance, but also this, this, but also... It, it just looks like a goat. It kind of looks like a house <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a bro, this side kind of looks like something. <laughs> okay, you are not, you are not edgy into the sculpture. <laughs> What's that? Wait, what? The sculpture is off limits. <laughs> um, uh, we got more antiques. So, here is a vintage port wine oh. from 1870. That when my um, it says 1982. <laughs> don't watch. Don't look at that. <laughs> Bottle of 1984. <laughs> my dad was definitely lying to me then because that is. Definitely not from the 1800s. Um, but did you not see the big 1982? <laughs> That's like, it's, what, it's 18. Oh, it's it's a typo. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, maybe it was like maybe it was like maybe it's been sitting in a barrel since the 1800s and it was bottled. In. No, it says it's 1982 okay. bottled in 1980. Because it's yeah, it was bottled oh. in 1980. Wait, hold on. So it says vintage port on it, and it was made in 1982. Does that mean it's from before then? No, that means no. it was. Or is it, it like made to become vintage? It was. Later it on? was. It was. The, it started the fermenting process in 1982, 1982 and, and it was bottled in 1984. Hmm. Just not really vintage. So about a hundred years off. You're about a hundred years off. Yeah. More like two hundred. Wait. No. One hundred. <laughs> Math is pretty hard sometimes. No, it's not. All right. Here's the next item. It is also not nearly from the time period. This is from like thirty-five years ago. We went to um, or my family. We. My parents. Yeah, I'm sorry. They went. <laughs> Zane was there. Zane's actually so old. He graduated from Harvard Law. From Harvard Law, like 20 years ago. Yeah. I don't know why he's. 2002 out. graduate. 2002. He's hanging out with us high schoolers as if it's like legal. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is a nice bucket. That wow. <laughs> that's so cool. Dude. My parents found it in a. None of this footage is usable. No, <laughs> <it> is. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? So, is it awesome a member? Yeah, I guess so. Danny, Danny Xavier, why'd you beat him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so Xavier devoured his voluptuous little flag. Oh! Anyway, back. Uh, oh, shit, no. no. Bro, slow it down. I'll, I'll hold up the camera. This is the spill. Oh, we are not using Yo. this. Sorry, so okay. Oh, we can spread the chairs out. So yeah, that right there is the yeah. spill. Yeah, okay. And That's what you do deal. is you yep. take oh, okay. a piece of toilet paper. And you just like file it on a bitch. Yeah. You you don't rub, you dab. You close up on these start. antiques, guys. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a close up. It's not like a yeah, I'm the show that. Right, tell me fire. Oh, yeah. so this bucket. Um, <laughs> up my parents kids, got yeah. it from a disposal heap about thirty-five years ago. Uh huh. And I really like the design. <laughs> so, <laughs> it says <laughs> Dura. Zit, zit, <laughs> alloy. No, but the real story behind this bucket is that when I was dropped off at the church as a baby and my parents <laughs> adopted me, I was put in this bucket and my head. Okay, bro, was, you were not Bruce Wayne. <laughs> my head was so hard that it made this big, like, baby head sized dent in the side of the pail. And so that's where wait, wait, you're actually not it. Why is it the wrong way though? Like, it's like inwards. Um, like you're, you're hey, you like hit it from the outside. outside. Yeah, like, because like I was putting up a crazy fight when the guy was trying <laughs> to put me in it, and then he started like swinging me at it. And so, okay, so that's actually illegal. <laughs> <laughs> well, not long. Because I feel like no. with well, that that explains why. Actually. Because I feel like with babies, you just like have to like teach them their place in society <laughs> like early on before they go with like a stranger who might actually kill them. So yeah, that's the bucket. <laughs> go over the How many more right antiques do we have? We need like two more. I think. Uh, let's see. Um, so this uh, is crazy. Hell no. <laughs> uh, okay. 
So but I liked it too. The reason why we have I have ah. but I should be careful with that because okay. it's worth a lot. Yeah. Um yeah. how much is it worth? Yeah, I don't think we should unscrew this. No, I'm screwing it in. Yeah. Okay. How much, how much is that though? How much is it worth? Yeah. It's more sentimental yeah. than I think because it's like It's a little bit priceless. It's when my parents I was like remember my grandpa. Oh, well that No, it's all it's good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> But Elliot um, Elliot. <laughs> Good one. But the real reason we have it still, like, like yeah, Grandpa was hey, nice. Can I hold on, hold on. I'll explain this in a second. But you can't it's like wrong. Oh, no, no, it's like one of those things on the cowboy. Grandpa, Grandpa is yeah, nice. Go. Grandpa is really nice and all, but like the real reason we have that duck is because if you like look at the bottom of it, you can see his corkscrew penis. Okay. Um. So. You came to the wrong town, yeah, bugger. So, wait, I, um, oh, let me see. Scallywag. So, but if you do like ASMR videos, it would be like, they'd be like, sharp a doll, and then like, this is the sharp, and then like a doll. <laughs> no, I do not be watching ASMR videos. So this <laughs> oh, wait, I've seen that. They'll be like, they'll be like, sharper doll, and then they'll have some that's super doll, and then they'll have this. And what happens if it's sharp? They just cut them open. Like, no, like this is the sharp. Like this would be the sharp. So be like, that's not. It's not sharp, but no, it's, it's not like, doll there. Yeah, so the doll is like a feather. But, but that's like, but it's like doll or more doll. Like that's not okay. Bro. I mean, it's a it's a test, bro. It's a test. So the story behind yeah. this is that I've never seen this. About uh, oh 80, 80 years ago, way? Frontier yeah. Justice. So eighty years ago, my family was 80 in. Eighty years. Okay. Or my grandma, grandma knew Nancy was in Santa Fe, and her uh -huh. dog dug up the yard and dug this up in the yard, and it's a real, um... You came to the wrong town, buckaroo? <laughs> yeah, it's some of that, like, This hey, town ain't big enough for the jewels. Jewel it's a little bit of that, like, take my gold nugget and I'll put my pickaxe for your head kind of stuff. Um, Frontier Justice? Yeah, Frontier Justice. Yeah. yeah, and you can see, like, a little bit of, like, the leather from his shoes, like, still on there. Oh, um, that's fire, bro. But yeah, that's actually that's gotcha. so cool. Wait. Yeah, I thought I think this. I thought that went over the shoe. It wasn't actually attached to the shoe. No, it's, it's like attached to the shoe. Oh, yeah. okay. You should look. You um, sell that. Well, can you make like two hundred bucks off of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably more. I probably could, but um, oh, yeah. I think the cock loft is worth more than any money that I could possibly. You could pay for for subscribe. Okay, bro. So if you're saying if they give you a million right now with a cock loft. <laughs> Uh, I would rather die than give up the cock Bro, give you take a million, million and make a new one. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, and just make it like if the dungeon. If yeah, a company, yeah, that's kind of cool. No, if a company is like, I want to buy the cock loft, and then they get like people that look exactly like us, and yeah. just put them in here, and they give you like uh, five million dollars, you wouldn't take that. No, I don't think so. Um, if we're already, if we're making like but no, that, no, like a company, we're not doing anything like, anymore. A company now wants to just buy the cockloft for five million dollars and just puts different teenage boys in there and just like. But I feel why like would they like. Why would our fans is, like? What would, what would it be about? Why would our fans stick around? Like, oh wow, every single person's different now, and they're all like thirty-year-old weird men. But no, they're all teenage boys, and they look exactly like us. Why wouldn't this company like save the five million dollars and just make a new podcast with those boys? Yeah. Like, the cockloft name. Because well, it would be under our name. The Cockloft isn't really a household name yet. <laughs> yet, yet, yet. Yet. Yeah. So 128 never. is... My dad's gonna be reading the New York Times and he's gonna be like, What's the Cockloft? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I see that you made 50 million dollars off of an online podcast? What is that? And then he's gonna be like, yeah, you're not going to. He's like, After 50 million dollars? Yeah. It's gonna be like one of those undercover boss situations. I'm gonna go into like a podcast and I'll be like, I own this now. <laughs> I, I can imagine like we um, have like a rival podcast like those British guys uh, the wet podcast the yeah. wet. <laughs> and uh, the wet podcast like hot, like kidnaps our guest Alex and like tries to get info about the cock cloth like what do they use for the lighting what kind of tripod is there and Bro, it's like you just looked up tripod and this is like the first thing that put yeah. up. Like, yeah, it ain't that like lighting for like YouTube videos Bro, I went to Amazon and looked up lighting <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, looked, awesome. I looked up Good lighting. And then I was, I was like, uh. Um, Bro, has the school picture of uh, light. I like that kind of, I'm like that kind of person who like looks up cool and, shoes. And for the, wait, for the wait, visual wait. listeners, uh huh. This is our light. Hold on, let me get up. I actually have a dead body back there, so I'm like, try that. Oh, yeah, I'll show him. I'll show him no! the body. <laughs> no, stop! Actually, we're on 558. Five, Here, you might want to move it back some. 
So that, yeah, it's not too close. There you Hold go. on, let me make sure it's in, everyone's in frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can base it off of my grippers. Okay. okay. Honestly, so we're going back on the playlist. We all, yeah. <laughs> we all we're going to see episode 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting like 70,000 views. Or any can I just be the cameraman now? No. No, no bro. Get, get back. You're actually a shitty cameraman. I'm just, what I'm saying though, hey, bro, how do you zoom in? Bucks, get 75,000 oh, views. Yeah. Make like 10 bucks. And then we move to 10 bucks. Um, reinvest that. Uh, Yo, does this have a zoom lens? Yeah. Wait. It's not working. No, like you like click the like zoom on. Yeah, he's actually stupid. Man. All right. Oh, we're there is no in. zoom button. Bro, I think it's right, a camera from Disney movies. <laughs> All right, Alex. Okay. He's like types of buttons and it like magically does it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey, uh, subscribe if you watch Big Booty Twerk compilations when you were 12. No, when you're like 8, bro. I just watch them on my iPad. So, with your iPad? On my so, iPad. On YouTube? Yeah. yeah. I'll look at like Latina Big Booty Twerk compilation, 30 minutes long. Bro, if you look up, you can look up like, um, Massaging videos? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember seeing those. <laughs> and and they, like oiled up one. And it's always like a like eight year old guy with like a seventeen year old girl and like he makes them wear like the tightest like um tights on with no underwear and it's like okay. And like what are you like doing naked about? oiled up bro? He's like what? Yeah, the educational videos on YouTube are insane. Because like oh, yeah. if you just like call it educational or if it's like I've a protest, seen, like the, the like breast pumping videos where they're Oh yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's like <laughs> breast language, it's like yeah. breast the uh, like hand language or yeah. whatever. It's, it's just like how do we like, how, like how to do it as no, well? It's like, and it's like one with like huge breasts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like yeah. how it's to like, hand express like, breast milk and it's just like <laughs> Yeah, it's just and like the video is like how to change out your car oil with big breasts. It'd be like Marshall just like feeding kids. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> nursing kids. Yeah, I, I remember like, the first time I fell down this crazy rabbit hole of educational YouTube videos was when a video popped up in my feed. It's like how to shave the vagina. I was like, okay. no way. Okay. No way it actually shows that. I clicked on. It's like okay. Yeah. How is this? How is this allowed? <laughs> but saying the curse word will like get people de demonetized. Oh, I mean, how late at night was it that they went down that rabbit hole? Oh, yeah, yeah. I swear the algorithm changes late at night. Like, I think it like purposely targets boys as well. Uh huh. You like you don't you don't see how to shave your ball at two a. 